The alchemy of wealth from air will bring a second blight upon mankind. This fog of death will cloak the land, and those men who are not prepared will succumb to its foul clutches. For God shows no mercy on those who heed not his words. Thus will the end come, and the world, made unworthy in his eyes, will be purified by black angels, so that he may begin anew. Myself. I call it the prepper pad. It's a smart map with radar and a connection back to me, so I can watch over you, and you'll need it. Better saw the lights out. There's a generator in the toilet. See the green light on your smart map? Now you can 
see what you're doing. Go back to the main room and look at the monitors. You see? The last person I tried to help went outside without the pad. And look how that ended. But there is something else you can use. That backpack is a bob. Bug out bag, see? You need it and what's inside. Now might be a good time to try out your radar. Go on, pick up the cricket bat. Don't be squeamish. This could be an unspoken agreement between survivors. Because if you got infected, wouldn't you want someone to do the same for you? Good going. A nasty business, but it's got to be done. Now, check that bob. As I recall, there's a pistol and ammo you're definitely going to need. More than 20 hours awake and your decision making goes to pieces. Don't neglect your sleep. Head back to the main room and take another look at the monitors. They're hooked into CCTV cameras all over London. This one's from a supermarket near you. But the more eyes you have, the better. There's more cameras at that location, so I'll, I'll walk you through hacking them. People think CCTV cameras are secure, hardwired to police HQ. But they're wrong. I was a Royal Signals boy in the army. I can teach you a thing or two about secure comms. Time for your first field trip. Those cameras won't fix themselves, and you need to do a little shopping. Give me a sec, I'll get those shutters up for you. to get out. There's bound to be one somewhere at that station. 
Use your pad's environmental scanner to search the area. Perimeter looks calm, for now. Now, use your pad to scan the area and see what you can loot. Never look a gift horse in the mouth. That's the one. This is my handiwork. A long time ago, I teamed up with a bunch of no-hopers called the Ravens of D. I helped them fortify places like this, because we knew this was coming. John D predicted the plague and the Great Fire of London that stopped it. And he saw plague victims in his own lifetime, even tried to find a cure, the panacea. But it's a myth. You can see as well as anyone. There's no cure for this. Use your pad to scan that door and I'll hack it open for- I'll get that for you. I've locked the place down for your safety. Okay, you're free to come and go now. Scan every CCTV junction box you locate so I can hack it and bring those cameras back online.
sure you're ready to face down a bloody horde? It's your life. the working junction box by the way that's a camera hub in case you've never noticed one before excellent your smart map's been updated without a good map you're a goner out there manhole nearby that's your quickest way back to the safe house. Have a gander. Sometimes retreat is your best option. Good work, soldier.
This is where it all started, and this is where it'll end. I promise you. Protect the safe house. Your survival depends on it. the supermarket. Be careful. Use your radar. You have to ping areas manually if you want to know what's lurking in your blind spots. Throwing flares. Now they could come in handy. Bright lights to distract the dimwits. to the alarm. Get inside before every blighter from miles around comes running. Barricades. Shit. 
find a hammer. You're gonna need to rip the planks off some doors. While you're there, stock up. If it's not nailed down, loot it. When you find the box, link the pad up to bring the cameras back online. Molotov cocktails are classic. Sometimes you just can't beat the classics. Find your way back to that shortcut you passed earlier and get your ass back to the safe house in one piece. Before time, 
There's a horde approaching. Check your radar. Good work, but if you got through earlier, you'll have to finish them off.
stash your weapons, ammo and supplies in there. You can't carry everything while you're outside, but a well-stocked cache will give you options before you set off. So drop whatever you want in it. You need to get inside Buckingham Palace. It's your best hope for better weapons and supplies, even if it is overrun by infected. John D. But by the time he saw what was coming, Elizabeth was dead, and James I had no love for prophecies or alchemy. And he was so obsessed with black magic, he wrote a manual called Demonology, and sent his witch hunters around England to hang witches and warlocks. D. had to go into hiding. Bloody idiots. thing about Buck Palace, see, it's not just a building, it's a fortress, a highly secure location. You can bet your ass they've stockpiled guns and ammo like nobody's business. Uh. 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 
here thinking they'd be safe, that the royals will protect them, but the establishment looks after itself, no one else. God helps those who help themselves, never forget that. upside down. That's a distress signal. Maybe they're still alive inside yeah. there. Yeah.
Soldier, infected incoming. your way in. Be careful. Radio signal won't reach you down there. You're on your own.
Lovely woman, the Queen. For an ancient lizard posing as a human, anyway. But I tell you, she knows the score. It's the government didn't want anyone to know about Dee's prophecy, not her match. I hope they get her away to India or something. Their climber's better for reptiles, anyway. There's your way in. Be careful. I won't have eyes on you down there. You're on your own. 
I'm losing you. Must be shielded. Watch your back. So you must be pretty good. Well, perhaps we could help each other. Uh, sorry, I, I should explain. There are security monitors and speakers in the walls. I'm Peter Knight, junior doctor to the royal household. So don't worry, you're not going mad. <laughs> uh, well, um, do come and find me in the lab, won't you? Sorry, I know these corridors are a labyrinth. But well, that's the point, you see, to keep intruders out. I suppose I should warn you, there are also a few infected roaming around in here. Used to be Omega Group soldiers, you see, but... Well, they're all infected now. Terrible shame. Make yourself at home, but please don't touch anything. This is all vital scientific work. I'll close the door behind you, just a precaution. Sorry, I can't greet you in person. It's safer for both of us, you understand. I'm researching a cure for this terrible infection. You see, it's slow going, as I have so few subjects to test on. Like those poor Omega Group soldiers. Not my finest hour, I fear. If you'll forgive me for a moment. I'm sure you can help me. I say, 
Steady on, old girl. Right. Now here's how you could help. There's a book, De Remedi Socrati, by Conrad Gesner. A fascinating text, but what I'm after is Dee's own copy where he made annotations. I believe it's in the palace library, which means going upstairs, I'm afraid. Would you be so kind? The bunker elevator can take you up to the palace. Dear John, I'm sorry, but I just don't think we're going to agree on this point of interpretation. You seem dead set on a scorched earth reading of the BP, whereas I, and Ron, and many of the others, see it more as a warning that we need to help people, not stand by and watch as it happens. I know you're angry with- At the end of the day, who lives and who dies comes down to one thing, preparation. Research your surroundings, scavenge for supplies, stock up your safe house, and do whatever it takes. Again. No luck finding the Gesner book upstairs, I see. Well, sorry, but I must return to my work. Do help yourself to anything you need, will you? I hope you don't mind the music, by the way. William Byrd. Elizabeth I's favourite composer, apparently. I find it helps me work, it's very soothing. You're doing ever so well. I do feel awful about the poor guards. Well, technically, I'm an Omega group myself. Started as an army medic and then they posted me here. That's such a shame. Those soldiers were an elite. So sad to see them like this.
I've just realized you probably have no idea what Omega Group is. Top secret, you see, but well, that hardly matters now. It's an elite group to protect the royal family. But, but the outbreak caught us on the hop, and now all these poor men who used to guard the bunker. I suppose you could say they're still guarding it. If only we'd paid more attention to Dr. D. Patients succumb immediately to infection in the region where the malady enters the body. Violent convulsions follow and their veins turn black as ink. Poisoned blood radiates from the wound, spreading like the roots of a venomous tree, accelerated by unnatural haste. It would be beautiful if not for its dark design. Ah! <laughs> 
Where was I? You must forgive me. I'm a little distracted. Ah, yes, Dr. D. John D. was a scientist, alchemist, natural philosopher and all that. To Elizabeth I. Some people say he was even a spy. Imagine that. And D. wrote a warning, you see, about this outbreak. Oh, dear. Sorry, mustache. So you found Gesner's book? I do hope it wasn't too much trouble. I'd pass it through, would you? Ah, wait. There's something else. Um, that gadget of yours looks rather like something the Omega chaps used to carry. Will you step over there and scan that infected chap with it? A full scan and analyze, mind you, to isolate the infected gland.
human body really is a fascinating thing. Even after all vital signs in the subject cease, the body continues to fight the infection. Amazing, eh? thought so. You'll have to put him out of his misery first. Then take the syringe and fill it up with antibodies from the infected gland. <laughs> synthesize a virucide, a sort of poison, quite deadly. There's enough for one injection, but you can refill it from another willing volunteer. In return, I need another favor. A second book, Studium Contagione. The Study of Infection by D himself. It's very rare. But I happen to know Ron Friedman has a copy in his flat on Brick Lane. Ron's one of those raven chaps, you see.
Now where are you going? Are you scavenging for supplies or what? The pickings round here won't be very rich. These poor buggers have to fend for themselves. Abandoned by the government, the so-called public servants, who all hot-footed it to Westminster and the palace instead. That lot of good it did them, eh? You hear that? That's exactly why this country's gone to shite. People partying when they should have been prepping. Honestly, I'm surprised anyone else survived. Okay, maybe not everyone knows about these prophecies, but to be so blind when Armageddon is in your face, I despair.
to find some way into the room. Looks like you can jump down through a hole in the ceiling. Now we're talking. Double the barrels for double the gun. where you are. That's Ron Friedman's place. All you'll find in there is a soft-headed imbecile who turned the ravens away from the truth. If you're going in, be careful. Ron Friedman is a lying sack of shite. Don't believe a word he says. He'll send you off on some wild goose chase. Yeah. <laughs> 
That's on the next floor up. You have to find an air duct and crawl your way upstairs. Thank <laughs> you. 
Suppressor here. Your signal's fading. I'm losing you. This is Sandra to all surviving Ravens. Nest 6, 18, 19, 22, and 34 have been raided by vultures. Situation still evolving. Run, come in. It's Sandra. Run, we're pulling out in less than 12 hours. Ronald Friedman, if you're ignoring me, I swear. Answer me, for God's sakes, Ron!
prepper here, you read me. Looks like it's heating up in there. Find the kitchen and use the rubbish chute, it's your quickest way out. You found Dee's Studium Contagioni. Oh, this will be invaluable. If only I had been quick enough to save them. I tried, I did. And I made progress. But what survives, well... I can't call it life. I'm almost glad my Omega Group colleagues never lived to see the day. Last letter to Francis Bacon. And a dear Francis, and so on and so forth. Yes, he mentions the Panacea Code. Now, the Ravens believe they possess this code, and they must still be in London somewhere. I don't know how, but if you can track them down and retrieve this code, it could unlock a cure. Meanwhile, I'm a soldier on. I swore an oath to my queen and my vocation to shed light upon the dark corners of ignorance, and so I must. See yourself out.
can't run, you might as well lie down and die. Always keep something in reserve. There you are. What were you doing back in the palace? Look, never mind. I've had an idea. There are reports of a military camp at the palace. The guy in charge is Colonel Waverley, my old CO in Desert Storm. So tell him the prepper sent you. He'll see you right. You could do with some better weapons, and a bit of C4 wouldn't go amiss. This is the Ravens of D calling all survivors. Evacuation will commence when the tower bells ring. I repeat, green light for Tower of London evac. Sandra bloody Kelly. Thought she was dead. But pay her no mind. The Ravens couldn't plan an orgy in a brothel. Evac my ass. It's more likely they'll shoot you and rip your bob from your dead hands.
Gander in Green Park. As the revelation shows, when death overcomes life, so shall man walk eternally in purgatory. And those who long for the bosom of God shall not find it, as death itself flees from them to smother the world in grey damnation. like the last survivor who came through here. You've got to be more careful. Don't forget to grab that bob. It'll be a crying shame to let those supplies go to waste. You're in. Nice. Now grab whatever you can carry and stash it back in the safe house. Oh, 
sorry for hacking your comms like this, but the Ravens of D are planning an evacuation from the Tower of London, and we need all the fighters we can get. Help us, and we'll get you out. Just stand there, move! You're a sitting duck!
going. So you're running away with the birds. Well, let me tell you about the Ravens of D. D's prophecy is clear, but those bloody cowards want to cherry pick it. They admit D was right about the blight coming, but think he was wrong about who would survive. There is no saving the world. No evacuation, no cure, no respite. Only the prepared will survive. Isn't that what I've been teaching you? Tell you're not listening. Fine. But if you go through with this, I won't help you. from the Ravens of D. It's good to see you. But you'll need to clear a path to the tower. We lost our sniper on the perimeter, like so many of our soldiers since it began. That's a 770, that. I used to shoot naps up the arse with one of those. <sighs> <sighs>
자. 
We lost so much knowledge when Dee's library at Mortlake was pillaged. We've collected what remains, but none of us had Dee's minds to make sense of it all. That's Dee's Sceptogram. It symbolizes the unity of the four elements with alchemy, magic, and science. To us, it opens a path to secret knowledge. It will work like a black light now. Look for the signs. Nice work. Don't bother with your map. Officially, this place doesn't even exist. Just use the black light to find your way through. They'll lead you to our bunker.
Welcome to the Raven to D Nerve Center, such as it is. The blight has been worse than even we thought, and we were expecting it. I can't imagine how ordinary people like you coped. Mind you, we tried to warn people. Our best prepper risked his life trying to get to the Queen, but they wouldn't listen. They locked my John up, and he was never the same. Okay, break out the black lights again. See if you can crack this one. Nokian alphabet. Symbols that D used to communicate with angels. The Ravens translated them years ago. Now you can reveal and understand them too. See, John D basically invented cryptography. He was the first professional spy, did you know that? Even signed his letters to Queen Elizabeth 007. You're, you're almost there. Now try the keypad. Time to move. Head for the roof. Sorry, that's all I could help. 
cope with. I need to clear the other ramparts. This is Raven Wing 1. No safe landing. I repeat, we cannot land. We'll try and pick you up on the roof. Stand by. out of their misery. Uh, 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 
합니다. The chatter on the you can stash your weapons, ammo, and supplies in there. You can't carry everything while you're outside, but a well stocked cache will give you options before you set off. So drop whatever you want in it. Look, I know you won't believe this, but I hate to say I told you so. I understand you want to get out, to run away, and never look back, but it's not that simple. Look on the bright side. You're still here, a survivor, and I'm not going anywhere, no matter how bad it gets. But make no mistake, it will get worse. Dee said the blight will only end when a cleansing fire of black angels sweeps over the world. We all used to think he meant the ravens of Dee, bloody idiots that we were. But no, he means something much worse. Oh, shite. You need to refuel that generator. I think it's time you went to see Vikram. Vikram runs the Shoreditch petrol station at the top of Brick Lane. Him and his family live in the flat above. You can't miss it. He's shut himself in there and been trading fuel to survivors. You might have to breach his perimeter, but once you're through, just tell him the prepper sent you.
you should see a park coming up ahead. The petrol station's just past there. Mind your step. Someone's laid down traps for the infected, which is smart, but they'll get you just as easily. Be careful.
That generator needs stopping up. Time to get some petrol.
Please, come in, come in. You're safe here.
Do you bring news? You've been gone so long. No, no, don't cry. It's not your fault, son. Huh? Who are you? Where's my son? Dad, can you come up, please? I'm coming, child. I'm coming. Now, be a good boy. Help your mother. Be quick. She needs those antibiotics. Uh, don't forget your key. You have nothing to fear. Hold up. Where's the fuel? Is he serious? Fuel for antibiotics? Oh, Christ. He's sending you to die. Yeah, that nursery doesn't look like an ominous death trap at all, does it? It's not too late just to storm the petrol station, you know? Fair enough, then. It's, it's jammed. Not my problem. What do you want with that door, anyway? Weren't you on your way to die? Be careful in there. I saw them get overrun on the CCTV. The staff running inside with the kids. I didn't see anyone leave.
Remember, it's the medicine you're here for. Nothing else. Get it and get out. Keep an eye out for the first aid boxes. That's where they'll keep the medicine.
You need a key card for that.
UMP-45, if I'm not mistaken. That'll keep just about anything off your back. Soldier, infected incoming. Fuck <laughs> 
Lieutenant, I can. You're the one who said yes to Vikram's dry idea, remember? Hold on, I'm almost done. Don't give up on me now. Right, the door's open. Move. If that church has got a single pane of glass left by left by now, let alone a secure hoard of food and guns. whatever security is put in place. Generate. The only thing better than a shotgun is a pump-action shotgun. They'll probably try to blame this on the immigrants, you know. But don't fall for it. Look around. The blight doesn't discriminate. Immigration was always a distraction. To let the idiots in charge destroy the country without ordinary folk noticing.
listening, are you? I've told you, you can't keep sticking your neck out for other people. You've got to look out for number one, nobody else. I don't know why I bother. All right then, if she's telling the truth about those supplies, then let's at least try to keep you alive so you can bring some back. In the meantime, travel light. If it is a trap, you could lose everything. Oh. <laughs> 
This is the prepper. Do you read me? Over. I don't know how the hell you got out of there alive, but I can help you stay that way. There's a shitload of gear past that door, but your exit is back where you came from. Don't you dare go and die on me now. I prepared you better than that. You disappoint me. I thought we were partners. Prepper, out. Are you prepared? Keep an eye on corpses. Nothing is really dead until you've blown its head off, understand? Army regular, the poor bugger.
Keep your distance. They can smell normal people coming. And I bet to those bastards we smell like the best rare steak you ever had.
합니다. 
Lighter, faster, cleaner than your average shotgun. Ugh. <sighs> 
Don't waste your tears on them. Infected, undead, blighters, straight up cannibal fucking zombies, whatever. All that matters is, they're not human anymore. Is that... <coughs> it is. All seven of these letters with the panacea code. <coughs> I can't thank you enough. Now I can begin work on the panacea. I'm sure I'll have it whipped up in no time. Thank you so much. There you are. Christ, you have me worried being gone for so long. The hell were you doing in there? Oh, oh, thank goodness. I have good news. The panacea is almost finished. <coughs> the bad news is, it's a vaccine, not a cure. You must come quickly. <coughs> Meet me at the entrance to the Royal Quarters. I have security clearance. <laughs> the palace. A doctor. That's what you've been going back for. Working with a bloody laptop behind my back. How, how dare you? After all, I've warned you about trusting scientists. They started this mess. Mucking about with viruses. Playing God. One big experiment in the Petri dish of life. And what did that quack sell you? A couple of aspirin. There is no cure, no panacea. Do you really think some lab coat could create a cure? And meanwhile, the safe house is vulnerable! 
You disappoint me. I thought we were partners. Prepper, out.
Patients succumb immediately to infection in the region where the malady enters the body.
again. Feels like somebody's trying to kill off everyone I'm helping. Well, it's your life. Prepper, out.
I prepared you better than that. You as well. Off to the bunker again. Feels like somebody's trying to kill off everyone I'm helping. Well, it's your life. Prepper, out.
Omega-193, stand by. Payload 60 light weight. Eastward approach bearing 864. Operation Firewall is go. I repeat, Operation Firewall is go. Godspeed, gentlemen.
This is the Ravens of D calling all survivors. London is now officially a no rescue zone, and firebombing will commence shortly. We've got time for one final chopper evac. Stock up your gobs and haul off to the Tower of London. from the Ravens of D. We just caught a transmission from Buckingham Palace. Is it true you have the panacea? That's incredible. Please come to the tower as quick as you can. The whole world needs it.
This is Sandra from the Ravens of Dee. I don't know if you're the same survivor I met at the Tower of London, but this is the same frequency and I promised I'd be back. Whoever you are, please get to the Tower as fast as you can. We're evacuating ASAP. Oh, I see how it is. You're all bloody plotting and conspiring behind my back. The Doctor, the Ravens. You know what? Fine. Try to save yourself. Die in the fire for all I care. You're no survivor like me. None of you are. You're nothing to me. Go on. Go. Get out. You people are no better than the plague. I gave you shelter, weapons, equipment. I taught you how to survive. You'd be dead without me. And this is how you repay me. You needed me. Oh, you're all grown up now, strutting off on wild goose chases all by yourself, sticking your neck out. But just remember where I found you. I should have let the safe house burn, just like the whole of London will. Just like John Dee foretold. No bloody gratitude. That's the problem with people like you. You just take, 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 like a selfish child. It's no wonder the country's gone to the dogs, is it? Well, don't you worry, because I'll have the last laugh. I will outlive you all! I thought we were partners. I trusted you, gave you skills and knowledge. I should fucking kill you myself! Get the hell out of my safe house!
This is the prepper. Do you read me? Over. Come on, look lively. We've got to get out of London now. I made a promise to a survivor that I'd be back. I don't know if that's you, but you're on the same frequency, so hurry to the tower. We'll wait as long as we can. Now run! Get moving, there's no time to waste. We're on our way. Don't look back. <laughs> 